So next we would look into uh, operations on the time dependence of both continuous time and discrete time signals. So to make the subject area a little bit interesting, I have taken two examples. The first example would be done on the whiteboard and the second example is a five second video of a hummingbird which is displayed over here. Right. So as I perform some time domain operations on these signals at the same time, this video would be correlated. So if I amplitude scale, so that would be amplitude scaled and if I time shift or time scale, so uh, the hummingbird video would also be time shifted and time scaled. So let us look into the first operation that is the amplitude scaling. A very simple operation so if we have y of t that is just a scaled version of the input that is 2x of t so we would have simply this t so the, the whole signal would be scaled up so if this value at 0 was plus 1 so we would have a value which is plus 2 so the time instance would remain the same but the amplitude is scaled right and the same thing would happen to discrete time signal. This was plus one, now we would have plus two, plus one, plus one, and then zeros. This is zero, one, two, minus one, minus two. So the next time domain operation is time scaling. That is y of t is equivalent to x of 2t, right? This means that this signal would be compressed in time, right? So if it is x of 2t, so the signal is compressed. But at the same time, if I say y of t is equal to x of t by 2, the signal would be expanded in time. So this signal, if we compress it, so this would become plus 1 plus 2 right so the whole signal is compressed over here and the same thing would happen to discrete time signal if we compress it that is if y of n equal to x of 2 times n so this would mean that we have a value at n equal to 0 which is the original value that is plus 1 but now since this is twice the time so that is this value at 2 would relate to plus 1. So this 2 would come to plus 1 and it is originally a 0 value. So at plus 1, we would have a 0 value. And similarly at minus 1, so this would relate to here and you would have again have a 0 value. So what would happen to, to this value at plus 1? So if we uh, compress this one, it would appear over here at somewhere about 0 0.5 value. But since in the discrete time we have integer values, so that would be discarded so some of the information would be lost but on the other hand if we are uh, expanding in time so that is y of t is equal to x of t by 2 right x of t by 2 so this would mean that this signal is simply expanded in time so this was 0 no it would be expanded to something like that this would be plus 4 and similarly for discrete time we would have Again, if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and x is, is n, minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, right? Now, the original value will remain at its original position, but the first value would appear at the second point because now this is expanded in time. That is x of n by 2. So this value would be appearing at plus 2 so we would have a value at plus 2 right and 0 would be at 4 and similarly we would have a symmetry on the other side so this is an example of an upsampling right so if we are upsampling it but at the same time we have these values 1 and 3 which are not used so what are we going to do with that so one way to uh, fix this issue that is the blank values is to do interpolation right so in interpolation, you can take the average of these two values and you can assign a value. 
and similarly you can take the average of the, these two points and you can assign a value so the red dots or the red values are actually interpolated values note that matlab uh, does interpolation when uh, you give a string of data an array of data and plot it right so it is going to uh, connect all the dots in the plot and you eventually have a signal which appears to be a continuous time signal that is based on interpolation you would also have noticed that the video of hummingbird has played for uh, approximately 10 seconds right that is it has been expanded in time another important property that is related with time scaling is time reversal but before we move towards time reversal you would notice that these time operations in continuous time are exactly uh, repeated in discrete time the manner or the mechanical uh, operations are almost similar so we would uh, ignore the discrete time operations for the uh, remaining part of the video but you can observe that they are almost similar so in time reversal imagine that if we are given this signal x of t and we want to do a time reversal so in time reversal we would have y of t that is equivalent to x of minus t and if this is equivalent to x of minus t so thus this signal would flip in time right if we put a marker over here and then y of t with respect to t would be this signal but now the marker would appear over here right so that is the signal has been flipped in time so the next property is time shifting property right and for that say we have y of t that is a delayed version of x of t that is x of t minus one this is delay right so this would mean that this signal is delayed right and if we are originally at zero and the value was plus one so the one would appear to be over here this would be one two three minus one minus two right so the original signal is delayed in time that is if something was supposed to happen at zeroth time instant so that thing would be happening at uh, the first time instant one right so this value over here is actually plus one and over here the value is actually smaller so that is the time delay but we can also have a time advance that is this signal is advanced in time so that is again we can have a plot but this mean value is now at minus one minus two minus three so this would be zero and this would be one so anything which was supposed to happen at the zeroth time instant right you can have that at actually minus one value a prior time instant right so you can have that value in advance so that's why we can call it a time advance right and same thing would happen for our discrete time signals an important discussion here in is how do we do some combination of operations together right and again say this is our x of t and we are interested in a signal that is y of t which is equivalent to x of 2 times t minus 1 right that is the value is time scaled and time shifted so which one has to be done first and which one has to be done later we will elaborate next so first let us say that we are doing time scaling first and then we are doing time shifting so in this case if we scale this signal by 2 so this means that the signal would be compressed in time so we would have 0 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 right so this is simply x of 2t but next we are time shifting it that is we can have x of 2t minus 1 that is you can shift this signal originally it was at 0 so it would be at plus 1 because this is time delay right so this is our y of t so one may say that what about if we do time shifting first and then time scale it so let us see how, what will happen 
if we time shift this one first that is we would have this signal t in which this signal is time shifted towards right so we would have three and minus one so the value would be something like that just a rough sketch so over here we have plus one so this value is now shifted to plus one and next is we are time scaling it if we time scale this by a factor of two right so on the x-axis we can just simply divide this by this factor right so this value was originally at three so this would be appearing now at uh, 1.5 it was 3 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so we would have some value over here at 1.5 this value was originally at 1 so it would become 0 0.5 so it would be over here 0 0.5 and this is 0 and this is minus 1 so it will become minus 0 0.5 and then we have minus 1 right so plus 1 is having a value of 1 so over here since it become 0.5 so we would have something like this now these two are not equivalent that is if you time scale first then time shift you're going to obtain this one but on the other hand if you time shift first and then time scale it you're going to get this one the mean value or the maximum value is at actually plus one over here in the top plot and the maximum value is at 0 0.5 in the lower plot so over here actually this is correct and this is incorrect why is it so we would discuss it in the remaining part of this video so let us stick again with this example time shift and then time scale and redo the example time shift and then time scale and for that let us open the expression that is y of t is equal to x of 2 t minus 1 we can open this expression and we would have x of 2t minus 2 x of t originally was if we time shift first by a factor of 2 so we would have so this thing would be shifted towards right uh, so anything which was at minus 2 now it would be at 0 so we would have something like so this would be 2 and this would be 4 this is a time shifted version but then we can again time scale it by a factor of 2 if we time scale it by 2 right so we would have this 2 would become 1 if we divide it by 2 so this will become 1 4 will become 2 and 0 would remain as is that is 0 so we would eventually have this signal that is y of t which is equivalent to this part so this signal is exactly similar as over here this signal both are same right so you can use either of them that is time scaling then time shifting or time shifting then time scaling by uh, following the proper approach so, however there is an alternate method in which you do not need to memorize all these sequence of operations so let us look into that method again we have x of t that is and we want to achieve y of t that is x of 2 t minus 1 so in this approach we will take the argument of this x and give it a dummy variable that is a tau so this would be equivalent to 2 t minus 1 so that is equivalent to 2 t minus 2 and from here in we can just do some simplification and we can this bring this t over here so we would have tau by 2 plus 1 whereas we can make a table by inducing the variable tau and then t and we would consider this plot to be on tau axis right so if originally the tau was at minus 2 right so we would have minus 2 by 2 that is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 so you would have a 0 so the next significant value is actually at 0 which is plus 1 so at 0 if tau is equal to 0 so 0 by 2 is 0 and plus 1 so you would have a plus 1 so actually there is a plus here so we would have a plus here so uh, if tau is plus 2 that is 2 by 2 so that would be 1 and hence 1 plus 1 so we would have a 2 right so we can have a plot t 
where the value which was at time instant minus 2 that was 0 now that would relate to time value 0 so we have 0 so this point would be over here right and next whatever the value was at 0 now it would be at plus 1 so this could be our plus 1 right and the value at that was plus 1 again so let us say this is our plus 1 value and then whatever was at plus 2 now uh, that would be at again plus 2 so we would have 2 and the value over here was 0 so we would have again the value which is 0 so this is our plot so you can have some significant plots and rest of the thing you can just sketch it by just look observing the original plot right so now let us compare this one with our original plots which was over here and they are exactly similar so this approach is quite easy to follow and it is applicable even if the signals are complex as a quick demonstration i have taken an example from this reference and over here we have a function x of t right which is plotted over here and we need to plot y of t that is basically the question and y of t the function of x of t we have an x of 3 minus t that is this is time inverted and time shifted and then amplitude scaled and then we have a plus one that is a dc offset are we just giving a you know the boost of plus one right so as a first step what we're going to do is we are going to introduce a dummy variable that is tau and we we would set three minus t to tau right and by manipulation as mentioned earlier we can have this t over here so this tau would go over there so we would have three minus tau so next we would translate this to tau and we would pick certain significant values so the significant values where we have some uh, content of the signal they are at, they are at minus 4 minus 2 at 0 uh, we again have minus 1 and at 2 we have again this value so i've set minus 4 minus 2 0 and 2 right so based on this expression and i can find the values of t so if i set tau equal to minus 4 so 3 minus minus 4 so i would have 3 plus 4 and that is equal to 7 and similarly similarly minus 2 would translate to 5 0 would translate to 3 and 2 would translate to 1 so this also means that whatever the value was at minus 4 now that value would be at 7 so over here the value was plus uh, uh, actually it was 0 so at 7 we have a 0 value so at minus 2 this value would translate to plus 5 which is over here so at minus 2 which is over here the value was plus 1 right so at 5 we would have a plus 1 value so based on this mapping we would eventually get this plot right and in the step 1 we have just used the dummy variable so we have solved the argument of x so next we are going to uh, amplitude scale it in step 2 right so this signal we are just going to scale it by a factor of 2 this is done over here so plus 1 would change to plus 2 and minus uh, minus 1 would change to minus 2 right and rest of the stuff would remain the same so we are done with the first uh, term of this quality so next we would deal with the plus 1 that is the offset value by plus 1 so whatever this signal is you can just shift it by plus 1 right so this is what i have done over here so the plus 2 would move to plus 3 and minus 2 if you add by plus 1 so it will become minus 1 so minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 so we would have a signal that starts at minus infinity right and it is having a value of plus 1 and then we would have this shape and then at the value of 7 and then at the value of 7 it again would have a value of plus 1 and that would continue on towards infinity right the important point is Take the argument as a dummy variable and then solve uh, as you would like so even if there are complex functions and complex translations by this method you can achieve the solution thank you